For this video, we're going to talk about calculating the mechanical advantage of levers. Um, so in this slide, um, this looks really confusing. Uh, basically, they've drawn a circle around the resistance force and a circle around the effort force um, to show that uh, what they're actually traveling in circles, uh, and therefore we can use uh, our circumference measurements and um, all this really means, uh, if we boil this down, is we can calculate the mechanical advantage with this formula, which is the ideal mechanical advantage is our effort distance divided by our resistance distance. Um, so if this is really not that important, uh, all you really need to know is uh, this formula here and what it means. So our effort distance is the distance from here to the fulcrum, and our excuse me, our resistance distance is from the fulcrum to the resistance. So if we wanted to calculate our actual mechanical advantage, which is different than the ideal, uh, then we need to measure the forces. Um, so for actual mechanical advantage, it's uh, kind of the opposite. So instead of using distances, we're using forces. And our resistance is on top this time. Uh, last time our resistance was on the bottom. And our effort is on the top. So the actual mechanical advantage, which includes friction, our resistance force is 32 pounds and our effort force is 16 pounds. So when we calculate the actual mechanical advantage, it's going to be 32 divided by 16, which gives us a mechanical advantage of 2. Uh, so that's the actual. Let's do the ideal. Uh, so we're going to take the effort distance and divide it by the resistance. So in this case, our effort distance is 5.5 inches, and our resistance dis distance is 2.25. So 5.5 divided by 2.25, that gives us 2.44 to 1, or just 2.44. Uh, so the ideal mechanical advantage is uh, a little bit bigger than the actual. Uh, which makes sense because uh, in an ideal world uh, we don't have friction. So friction is taking away some energy uh, which re reduces our mechanical advantage. So we can calculate the efficiency of our machine uh, by taking our actual mechanical advantage which was 2 and dividing it by our ideal mechanical advantage which was 2.44. Um, so 2 divided by 2.44 is 82 percent um, so about 18% is lost to friction. Uh, and no machine is going to be 100% or more because um, there's always friction and that's always going to take away some of our mechanical advantage. In our next video we'll talk about a wheel and axle.